There's uh, there's a actually a disturbing story. In French Vogue, there is a 10-year-old model whose name is Tilaine Lubri Blondeau. And there are some highly sexualized photos, which some are saying are way too sexualized for a 10-year-old, okay? And we did the story a couple of, maybe, I don't know, about a month ago, about whether depictions of uh, child porn in anime or manga comic books constitute child porn, should be illegal, would in any way encourage people to actually act out crimes against children. Right. This is a different story. And over the weekend, Blondeau's mother, who's actress and TV presenter Veronica Lubri, shut down her daughter's Facebook page and also posted that um, she is very d upset about this. She wants to keep her daughter out of this controversy. And the question here is, does this in some way encourage real life? I don't even know what the word is. Abuse, assault on children by sexualizing a girl who is 10 years old. What do you think, Lewis? Uh, no, I'd say probably not. My initial instinct was actually yes, but I did some research into this, and one of the people who's spoken about this is Fred Berlin, who's director of John Hopkins Sexual Behavior Consultation Unit, and he's considered an expert on pedophilia, and he says, certainly these images can be appealing to someone who had pedophilia or is a pedophile, but the idea that they're going to create pedophilia in someone who is not at all predisposed to it is very, very unlikely, and he likens it to, it's just as true as if you see pictures of attractive men. They might be appealing to someone who's gay, but they're not going to turn someone who's heterosexual into a gay person right. simply by showing pictures, provocative pictures of men. However, I think that this is a little bit more complicated. Natan wants to chime in. Well, I think that's not a very good analogy because part of the problem here is that if an adult sees a 10-year-old girl, girl in this posture, like the picture that we have on the screen right now, he might... Um, notice some things that he's attracted to in adults and kind of confuse the, f the age of the person and just be attracted to the posture. And another question is, would this cause someone who is a known pedophile and already attracted to girls like this to act out in some way? Well, there's no set answer to any of these questions, right. but I think there's no... There, what's another angle on this? Well, maybe the models need to be old enough to... Uh, be past the age of consent. But then you're opening up a whole can of worms because, well, the age of consent varies depending on what country, even depending on what state you're in. Not to mention that the age of consent is in and of itself subjective. Is it not? Yeah. Uh, so what do you do in that case? I mean, it, does it just depend on the country of origin? No, well, that's the thing. I don't I, know that there is any set way to determine. If, if you're to say 10 years old is too young, Presumably there has to be some age that isn't too young to be in what are also, it's also a subjective term, sexualized positions. Yeah, I mean, do you consider this highly sexualized? It's, it's relatively, I would say that this is relatively sexualized. This is not typical of what a 10, of, of the way society perceives 10 year old, 10, 10 year old girls in a traditional, healthy, non-criminal way. I, I think that's just my sense of it. What do you think, Natan? I mean, it's hard to really break this down because both how sexualized an image is, as well as how old is old enough, are all subjective things based on, cu on particular cultural uh, norms. So what's the question exactly? The question is, how do we determine, okay, if we are to assume that at, not at every age it is okay to be photographed and be in advertisements in sexualized positions, what is a legitimate way to determine what age is okay? Well, I think that um, in a non-sexual situation, kids, uh, certainly they act in movies, they do TV commercials. And they do model clothing. And they model clothing. When we're talking about sexualized images, um, I don't know how, I don't know what way you could determine it apart from saying you have to be um, 18 or over. I, just, I, I have no way. If, if that's the law of the land where the pictures are being taken. Right. I don't know how else you would determine that. Now, remember, this is also French Vogue. I think the age of consent in France is lower, but it is not 10. That we can be sure of. Right. What's your what's your last thought on this, Lewis? Is the, are you, first of all, are these particular pictures OK with you or not? Um, just this one picture. I don't really see the big deal. I mean, yes, it's not something we expect to see a 10 year old doing, but I wouldn't consider it highly sexualized.
I haven't seen any of the other pictures, so I can't really comment. Can you put up the other one, Natan, that we have? And so Lewis can take a look at it. And for our radio audience, these are just some pictures from the French Vogue issue. Here's another one. I mean, Okay, this... that one's definitely a little more... Uh, a little more along the lines of what we're talking about. Do you find this image disturbing at all, knowing that it is a, is it a 10-year-old girl? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I mean, this is very different from an Oshkosh Bagosh jeans advertisement. Right. Absolutely. All right, well, please email me on this one, david at davidpackman.com. Is this okay? Is it not? How do we determine when, at what age it is okay? Let's take a break. Make sure to like The David Pakman Show on Facebook, facebook.com slash Show. And pick up one of the David Pakman Show t-shirts made of recycled cotton and plastic scraps, plastic bottles, at davidpackman.com. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com. <laughs>